ideological nonsense, and you talked about underpinning, undermining Irish neutrality. Fianna Fáil reaffirms its commitment to the retention of the triple lock prior to committing Defence Forces personnel in overseas positions. That's your words again in the Fianna Fáil 2020 general election. Now gone with the wind. Government will ensure that all overseas operations will be conducted in line with their military neutrality and will be subject to a triple lock of UN, government and Dáil Éireann approval. That's from the programme for government, agreed with Fianna Fáil, the Greens and Fine Gael. There is presently no appetite for a change of the current position on Irish neutrality. That is from the report of the Chair of the Consultative Forum that you hope would provide a preordained move to fundamentally change foreign policy that has served Ireland well. Tanisha, you have no mandate from this here. So you can scratch the bottom of the barrel all you want. I'm talking about the future. I'm talking about what missions do you want to deploy Irish troops to that do not have a UN mandate. And I'm saying to you that you don't have a mandate for that. You never campaigned for that. The programme for government didn't say that. And if you're securing your position, put it to the people in a referendum and let them decide whether they want to undermine our neutrality or not. There is absolutely no policy to undermine our military neutrality. Stop creating a false story and deliberately doing so. And the bottom line is this. You seem to have a view that Russia should dictate our foreign policy. Mm. Well, it does. You are. Yeah. That's exactly what you were saying. Yeah. And we know yeah. the war. The, look, I just, I just happen to the chair. I think there is. Yeah. Deputy, yeah. I think to the chair. Please. please. Can we do this through the chair, please? Can we listen, please? Well, Thank you. Ask when you say, can we do it through the chair, I've right. been doing it consistently through the chair. Well, I've been interrupted I, I, repeatedly by Deputy Doherty. And this that. has happened every week now. This is happening every week. Tarnished every week this is happening through the chair. Again, yeah. It's so happening every week. I believe... De a deputy, please. Well, Minister. Suing journalists. I believe... I, just, I want to make the point... No, 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 sorry. sorry. We're not going to have this sniping across the floor. I'm going to resume my seat and we're going to listen to the Thornister uninterrupted, please. I believe there's something morally wrong with the fact that an authoritarian and aggressive neo-imperialist power has de facto veto on elements of how we as an independent republic react to any given situation, Deputy. That is the fundamental truth of where we are today. They've invaded Ukraine. They've violated the UN Charter. And you are saying 